phone because you ain't been answering your phone, you damn liar. That's right. Well, I I'm cut the lights off, Judy. This is sexual harassment. No, it's not no sexual harassment. Pissed off, man. I am. I can't believe my mom is pregnant at 64. So how you feel about being a, a mom again? It's unbelievable. I cannot believe it. Like, what are you thinking right now? What am I going to do? Like, you are literally pregnant. Eight weeks? I am too old for that. Oh, my gosh. What if it's what twins? Am I, do? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so, I guess those little weekend visits turn into a nine-month pregnancy. So, what are you going to do? That's a good question. What am I going to do? Because who's going to be keeping this baby? Y'all is. Who's going to watch the baby? Y'all. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is crazy, y'all. Right on over to your house. And then what you going to do? I'm going to be gone. Doing what? <laughs> Working on another one? <laughs> now, I just did a video about this 54-year-old woman talking about she's in her whole phase. My whole phase started at age 52. Mm-hmm. I'm 54 years old. I started at 52. Now, when is it going to end? I can't tell you that. Only my knees can tell us that. And there were a couple of women saying, let her live. There's nothing wrong with her living. She's just enjoying her life. So I guess this is what comes with going into your whole phase in your 50s and your 60s. Getting pregnant. If this lady go and try to have that baby, this may be the last time you ever see her again. You're not supposed to be having babies in your 60s. And you're not supposed to be in your whole phase at this age. Did you hear what the lady said when the daughter said, who's gonna watch the baby? She said, y'all are, cause I'm gonna be gone. Where the hell are you going? You are a senior citizen. What the hell is going on? This lady is five years away from being in a nursing home talking about running the streets. This is where we are right now, ladies. Please do not let that lady have that baby. Please do not let this happen. And I can just imagine who the baby father is. I'm pretty sure his name is the Luther Earl or Cleophis or something like that. This is ridiculous. Anybody who thinks this is okay is crazy. She's not married to the man. She's out here living her best life at 64 years old. This is what's happening right now. And the daughter is filming it like this is okay. They need to do whatever they gotta do to stop this process. Do not let that lady have that baby. How does that even work? If your daughter have kids, those are your grandkids. So if you have a kid, who is that kid gonna be to your grandkids? Their grand aunt? I have no idea what's going on, man. Just stop the madness, okay? Stop it! One day later. Here is the follow-up video with her having a conversation with the child's father about the whole pregnancy. I've been trying to get in touch with you, but you haven't been answering your phone. Judy? Yes, it is. Judy, I've been busy, Judy. I apologize. I've been caught up. Well, you know you got a baby coming, right? Baby who? Your baby. My baby? Yes. No baby. Yes, you do have baby. one, too. You have one coming. I have one coming? Yes, how you how do. What? How that happen? How they tell you? You know how it happened. Don't make no baby, Judy. Well, we'll see when a D we'll see when a DNA uh, test comes. So what are you trying to say? I'm out here sleeping all around. You sleeping somewhere, but it ain't No, I'm not neither. Judy, somebody ain't being honest here, Judy. Something ain't right. He said, you're sleeping somewhere. Somebody ain't being honest here, Judy. Something ain't right. I told y'all that man's name was Rufus. <laughs> You'll find out when we have that DNA test done. That's all I got to say. I'm not going to get my blood pressure up uh, back and forth with you. We're just going to have that done, and then we'll go from there. I understand, Judy, but something must be wrong now, Judy. Oh, so I'm not going to have anything else to say to you because I'm really pretty much uh, pissed off at you because you ain't been answering your phone. You going on, oh, I'm going to put your ass on child support. Man, could you imagine being 82 years old and somebody talking about putting you on child support? But I can't be too mad at him. When he shot that club up, he thought it was closed. He didn't know nobody was in there. Now this man don't mess around and caught a body. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! Because I am not going through this no more. Oh, you, you, you get a DNA. We can go down there and get a DNA test done. Okay, so let's do what we have to do. And that and that DNA test will straighten it out since you don't believe it. I thought you was better than that, but I see you're not. 
Well then, because when Peanut being born, I'm going to put your ass on child support. Did she just call the baby Peanut? I mean, the kid ain't even born yet. He already got a nickname. You know what? Let, let's just keep going. Didn't I just show you that pregnancy test I had did? Judy, that ain't me, Judy. You ain't been talking to me, Judy. No, because you ain't been answering your phone, you damn liar. Right. right. Well, I had I'm... to cut the lights out, Judy. You I had to cut your mama. You had to do no, what? This is sexual harassment. No, it's not this no sexual crazy. harassment. Did he just say this is sexual harassment? <laughs> you're not gonna you're not gonna get out of this. Judy, I, I don't know, Judy. I don't think I can have no babies, Judy. Well, we got... We, I you that. Well, you are told a lie. That's a lie. Come on now, Judy. Well, we got... I'm, I'm going to have my daughters in come take, bring me over your house, and then we will go downtown and have a DNA test done. Because I'm tired of this okay. damn boy. You understand that? I don't think I want to go downtown, Judy. Well, you I is. Go you is going. He said every time he goes downtown, they lock him up. I mean, this woman is 64 and still picking criminals. Let's just continue. You is going, ain't been answering your phone or nothing. Why you ain't been answering your phone? You've been used to answering. Well, there it is. I guess Rufus and Judy is having a baby. Congratulations, I guess. I know one thing, that baby shower is going to be interesting. It's going to be a bunch of Colt 45 and some butterscotch laying around. I promise you that much. And the best thing about the baby shower, when they're getting all those diapers, they can be used for the parents and the child. So that's a good thing. And I hear my man Rufus sounding like he wanted nothing to do with this. But I don't really feel bad for Rufus. I mean, I do. He probably wasn't expecting this to happen. But anytime you get it in, something can happen. So I don't feel bad for him that way. You know who I feel bad for? Peanut. Peanut doesn't deserve this. These two old people having that baby, that baby's gonna come out with the shingles. That baby's gonna come out with a mustache and back problems. That baby's gonna come out with a credit card and a receipt and hairline. It's not fair to Peanut. Peanut's gonna come out the womb a grown man. He's gonna already have a wife and two kids that he has to support. He's gonna be the only three month old baby with a job at the plant. So that's who I feel bad for. When they send that boy to school, they're not gonna know if he's a teacher or the student. I feel bad for him. Peanut deserves a normal childhood. There's no reason that boy should come out with an AARP card. This is ridiculous. Y'all need to think about Peanut before y'all have this baby. Is all I'm trying to say. Peanut doesn't deserve this life. But you know what? Sometimes life gives you lemons and you got to make lemonade out of it. So Rufus and Judy need to get it together because now it's all about Peanut. You got to make sure Peanut is taken care of. Now, by the time Peanut is graduating high school, Judy's going to be around 82 and the father's probably going to be over 100. So I don't know how that graduation ceremony is going to look, but we need to focus on Peanut. Peanut deserves a good life. He needs to have a fighting chance. So I really do hope Judy and uh, Rufus work this out. I am still one to believe this is not a good idea. If there's a chance that they can stop this whole process, I would say do that. But there's a lot of people out there who believe they should go forward and live their life. I mean, there's not a lot of life left, but that's not the point. The point is people believe they should go forward and live their life. I'm just saying, y'all need to think about that child because seriously, that child will probably not have his parents as he gets older because they are pretty old. So they gotta think about that. But this whole situation is crazy. I just wanted to share this update with you guys so y'all can see what's going on. I wish Judy and Rufus the best, but I am especially wishing the best for my boy Peanut. Leave your thoughts in the video. I appreciate you watching. See you next time.